Bash, or the born-again shell, is a hallmark of Linux systems. However, there are other shells out there that may offer extra functionality, such as corn shell, Z shell, fish shell, and C shell. These shells offer automatic spelling correction, approximate auto-completion, syntax highlighting, and plug-in and theming support. Today, we will take a look at important features of Z shell and Zim, which is the Z shell improved framework. Here, we can see that currently I have Bash as my default shell. Let's install Z shell using the apt package manager. As soon as Z shell is installed, we can execute the ZSH command to run Z shell. Here we can see that Z shell is working fine. However, it does not look good. We need to install some nice themes. We can install these themes manually or use a Z shell framework such as oh my ZSH or Zim. Zim is a ZSH configuration framework with blazing speed and modular extension capabilities. It offers features such as predictive suggestions, syntax highlighting, and a collection of commonly used Z shell modules. We can install it using a single command available on the website. Let's copy this curl command and paste it inside the terminal to install Zim. We can observe modules being installed. Zim comes with numerous community-maintained ZSH modules in different categories like behavior, productivity, and prompt enhancement. After installing Zim, we need to restart our terminal. Upon restarting, we'll notice that Zim has configured a default theme for us. Before we change our theme, let's change the default shell for the current user. We can use the change shell command for this purpose. Now, let's print the contents of the password file to verify whether the shell has been changed or not. We can see that the shell for this user has indeed been changed. Zim automatically creates several important aliases for common commands. On my system, I have the LSD tool installed, which is an improved version of the LS command. When I type the LS command, I can see a nice color scheme with icons. Zim provides different nice-looking themes for us. We can find this list inside the Zim documentation. To install a particular theme on our system, we need to open the Zim configuration file and add two modules. One of these modules is the actual theme we are installing. Let's save this file and exit. Now, the Zim framework provides us with the Zim FW command to install modules. Once the modules are installed, we can restart our terminal. After restarting, we can see that the theme has been successfully installed. ZSH has the capability to automatically correct wrong commands. To enable this feature, we need to add the autocorrect option inside the ZSH RC file. After saving the file and exiting, we must source our latest changes using the source command. If we type a wrong command thereafter, ZSH provides us with options to choose alternative commands. For instance, if there's a misspelling for the cat command, upon hitting enter, ZSH automatically corrects the command. Similar to Bash, we can switch key mappings from Emacs to Vim within the ZSH configuration file. After sourcing the latest changes, we observe that we can navigate commands akin to Vim's normal mode. Additionally, we can visually select portions of commands using visual mode. One of the important features of Z Shell is its capability to share history between different terminals. Let's begin by splitting this terminal vertically using tmux. Then we can further divide each terminal horizontally, resulting in a total of four terminals. The terminals on the right side will be using the bash shell, while those on the left will be using Z shell. If we execute a command within the bash shell, that command's history won't be shared with other bash terminals. This can be confirmed using the history command. However, when we execute commands within Z shell, their history will be shared with other terminals running Z shell. This can also be confirmed using the history command. We can observe that commands executed in the top terminal are visible across other Z shell terminals. When I type CD and press tab, I can iterate over available folders using the tab key. Additionally, I can use the arrow keys to navigate through folders. While we're familiar with how recursive search functions Z shell offers a unique method to iterate over previously used commands of the same kind. For instance, when I type the ls command, I can cycle through all ls commands used in the past using the arrow keys. 
Moreover, by typing any environment or local variable and pressing tab, the variable will be expanded with the content it holds. If you forget about the options and flags of a particular command, there's no need to delve into the man pages or help. You can simply type the command followed by a single dash and hit tab. This will display all the available options the command takes. This approach works for double dashes as well. If the command is not available or typed incorrectly, it will be shown in red color. Otherwise, it will be displayed in green. To edit long commands, you can press Ctrl plus X and Ctrl plus E. This will open the current command in the default editor, allowing you to edit it. After saving and exiting, the updated command will replace the original in the terminal. In the next few videos, we will cover Oh My ZSH and Fish Shell. If you don't want to miss that, please subscribe. Thank you.